Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of psychology and human behavior. Today, we have an intriguing topic to explore together, the psychology of false memory, exploring the impact of memory distortions in eyewitness testimony. Get ready to be amazed as we unravel the mysteries of the human mind and discover how our memories can sometimes deceive us. It's a sunny day, and you're enjoying a leisurely walk through a bustling park. Suddenly, a commotion breaks out nearby. Your heart races as you witness an unexpected event unfold right in front of you. Days later, the police ask you to recall the details of what happened. You genuinely believe your memory is accurate, but what if it isn't? What if your memory has been distorted by the tricks your mind plays on you? Today, Crim Psychology Opia Channel will be delving into the intriguing world of false memory. You see, Memory is a fundamental part of who we are as individuals. Our memories shape our identities, influence our decisions, and provide us with a sense of continuity in our lives. But here's the kicker. Memories are not as reliable as we often think they are. Let's start by exploring the concept of false memory. Simply put, false memories are distorted or fabricated recollections of events that never actually occurred or memories that have been altered over time. This phenomenon can have significant implications, especially in eyewitness testimony, where the accuracy of memories can determine the outcome of legal cases. In a groundbreaking study conducted by Dr. Elizabeth Loftus and her colleagues, participants were shown a simulated car accident and were then asked to recall specific details. Astonishingly, the researchers found that by introducing misleading information, they could alter the participants' memories of the event. The implications of this research on the criminal justice system are immense, as eyewitness testimony is often considered one of the most compelling forms of evidence. In the groundbreaking study conducted by Dr. Elizabeth Loftus and her colleagues, participants were exposed to a simulated car accident, and later, their memories of the event were examined. The findings of this study were astonishing revealing that the introduction of misleading information had the power to alter the participants' recollection of specific details. The implications of this research on the criminal justice system are immense and far-reaching, as eyewitness testimony has traditionally been regarded as one of the most compelling forms of evidence. Eyewitnesses often play a crucial role in identifying suspects, recounting events, and providing information that can sway the outcome of a trial. However, the study by Dr. Loftus and her team challenges the reliability of eyewitness testimony by demonstrating how easily memories can be manipulated and distorted. The introduction of misleading information, even if unintentional, can significantly influence a witness's recollection of an event. This research underscores the potential for memory to be malleable and subject to external influences, raising concerns about the accuracy and credibility of eyewitness accounts. In the criminal justice system, eyewitness testimony has historically carried substantial weight, with juries and judges giving considerable importance to the perceived reliability and confidence expressed by witnesses. Yet, this study highlights the inherent vulnerability of memory, revealing that eyewitnesses may inadvertently incorporate false details into their recollections. These findings call into question the practice of solely relying on eyewitness testimony as a conclusive piece of evidence. The research suggests that the malleability of memory makes it susceptible to contamination and distortion, even without intentional manipulation. Therefore, the criminal justice system must consider the limitations and potential biases associated with eyewitness accounts. This study underscores the need for caution and critical evaluation when assessing eyewitness testimony in criminal cases. It highlights the importance of corroborating evidence, such as physical evidence, video recordings, or additional witness statements, to support or challenge the reliability of eyewitness accounts. Moreover, it emphasizes the significance of proper investigative techniques, unbiased questioning, and awareness of the potential for memory distortion. The implications of Dr. Loftus's research extend beyond the criminal justice system. They have implications in various fields such as therapy, accident investigations, and historical studies. Understanding the malleability of memory can help professionals in these areas recognize the potential for false or distorted memories and take appropriate measures to minimize the impact of misleading information. 
Dr. Elizabeth Loftus's groundbreaking study on memory distortion highlights the substantial impact that misleading information can have on altering individuals' recollection of events. In the criminal justice system, where eyewitness testimony is often considered compelling evidence, these findings emphasize the need for caution and critical evaluation. By recognizing the fallibility of memory, legal professionals can strive for a more comprehensive understanding of the limitations and potential biases associated with eyewitness testimony, ultimately working toward a more just and accurate justice system. Now, let's dive deeper into the fascinating world of false memory and explore some compelling research that sheds light on its impact, particularly in eyewitness testimony. In a groundbreaking study conducted by renowned psychologist Dr. Elizabeth Loftus and her colleagues, participants were shown a simulated car accident. After witnessing the event, they were asked to recall specific details about what they had seen. What the researchers discovered was truly astonishing. By introducing misleading information during the questioning phase, they were able to alter the participants' memories of the event. This phenomenon is known as the misinformation effect. The implications of this research are immense, especially when it comes to eyewitness testimony in the criminal justice system. Eyewitnesses are often seen as reliable sources of information, and their testimonies can heavily influence the outcome of a trial. However, as we now know, memories are not as reliable as we might think. They can be influenced and distorted by various factors. The study by Dr. Loftus and her colleagues highlighted the fallibility of human memory particularly in situations where witnesses are exposed to misinformation or suggestive questioning. It raises important questions about the accuracy and reliability of eyewitness testimonies, and the potential for false memories to impact the pursuit of justice. Dr. Loftus's research has had a significant impact on the field of psychology and the legal system. It has led to a deeper understanding of the malleable nature of human memory and the potential for memory distortions to occur even in situations where individuals are confident in their recollections. Since then, numerous studies have further explored the complexities of false memory and its implications. Researchers have investigated the factors that contribute to memory distortions, such as the emotional intensity of an event, the passage of time, and the influence of post-event information. By understanding these factors, we can begin to unravel the mechanisms behind false memory formation and develop strategies to mitigate its impact. It is essential to recognize that false memories are not a sign of incompetence or weakness. Our memories are not flawless video recordings. They are reconstructive in nature, and our brains often fill in the gaps with assumptions and expectations. Understanding this complexity allows us to approach our memories with a critical eye. Armed with this knowledge, we can work towards improving the reliability of our memories. Through the use of memory techniques, such as repeated retrieval and deliberate rehearsal, we can strengthen the neural pathways associated with accurate memories, making them more resistant to distortion. By actively engaging with our memories, challenging them, and seeking corroboration through other sources of evidence, we can strive for greater accuracy and reduce the risk of false memories influencing our recollections. The research conducted by Dr. Elizabeth Loftus and other pioneering psychologists has revolutionized our understanding of memory and its fallibilities. It has prompted a re-evaluation of the weight we place on eyewitness testimony and the need for caution when relying solely on memory in legal proceedings. As we continue to explore the intricacies of human memory, let us remember that our minds are both powerful and susceptible to errors. By acknowledging the limitations of our memories and seeking the truth through critical thinking and scientific inquiry, we can navigate the complex terrain of memory distortions with greater clarity and understanding. Research has shown that our memories are not like video recordings that we can simply replay accurately. Instead, our memories are malleable, susceptible to external influences, and subject to distortion. The misinformation effect, for instance, highlights how exposure to false information can lead individuals to incorporate it into their memories, blurring the line between what is true and what is false. But what causes these memory distortions? Our brains are remarkable organs, but they are not perfect recorders of information. Our memories are reconstructive in nature, 
meaning we piece together fragments of information and fill in the gaps with our own assumptions and expectations. This process opens the door for potential errors and distortions. Furthermore, factors such as emotional intensity, leading questions, and post-event information can also influence our memories. In a study by Dr. Loftus, participants who were asked leading questions like, how fast were the cars going when they smashed into each other, were more likely to recall higher speeds compared to those who were asked less suggestive questions. This demonstrates how subtle cues can manipulate our memories without us even realizing it. Now, you might be wondering, how can we protect ourselves from these memory distortions? Well, fear not, because science has some valuable insights to share. First and foremost, awareness is key. Knowing that our memories are fallible can help us approach them with a healthy skepticism. Additionally, employing specific memory strategies, such as repeated retrieval and deliberate rehearsal, can enhance memory accuracy. Research has shown that active engagement with memories and repeated retrieval strengthens the neural pathways associated with those memories, making them more resistant to distortion. It's important to remember that false memories are not a sign of weakness or incompetence. Our minds are complex and intricate, capable of extraordinary feats, but also prone to certain vulnerabilities. By understanding the psychology of false memory, we can shed light on the intricate workings of our minds and gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity of memory itself. As we wrap up today's journey into the psychology of false memory, let's take a moment to reflect on the profound impact these insights can have on our lives. By questioning our memories and seeking the truth, we can strive for greater clarity and accuracy in our recollections. Let's embrace the marvels of our minds while acknowledging the limitations we all share. Thank you for joining me today on this fascinating exploration of the psychology of false memory. Remember, our memories make us who we are, but they are not infallible. Stay curious, keep questioning, and always seek the truth. Until next time, keep expanding your mind and unlocking the mysteries of human behavior. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content. Share your thoughts and experiences with false memories in the comments below. And remember, your mind is a treasure trove waiting to be explored. Keep seeking knowledge and understanding. See you next time.